time can be tracked with Employee from wherever your team works. For on-desk and remote teams, we have an intuitive desktop app for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Deskless employees can seamlessly track their time, clock in, and clock out from Employee mobile app. Employees can also track time from the web app and update timesheets manually. Additionally, time can also be tracked with our browser extension and third-party integrations. Employee provides a lightweight project and budgeting solution. Hop onto the Project section to see your existing projects and a brief summary of the project progress. Click View Details to check the project progress report in a nice graphical interface. To create a new project, just click on the Create Project button at the top right corner of the page. After that, an admin would be able to put the details for a project, such as the name of the project, project start date, and a few other descriptive details. After finishing this, please click on the Save button to have this info saved and move on. You will now add members by clicking on Add People and Permissions. You can assign a team member or assign an entire team. Now add billing hours. You will have two options for adding billing hours. Project billing and project budget. Project billing is for billing your client. You can use this feature to bill your client in the future. You can bill your client on an hourly basis and fixed rate basis. If you choose to bill clients on an hourly rate, you will have two options. Project hourly rate and person hourly rate. If you wish to charge your client on a single hourly rate for the entire project, choose the project hourly rate. If you wish to charge your client based on the individual bill rate of each employee who would be working on the project, you might want to choose person hourly rate. In case you would like to invoice your client a fixed fee for the entire project, you can also do that by choosing the fixed fee option. Set a project budget to keep track of the project's cost and profitability. You can set a project's budget by total project cost or total project hours. Please note that total project cost can be set either by employee pay rate, which is the actual hourly rate you pay your employees, or employee bill rate, the hourly rate that you would like to bill your client for that particular employee's work. In the Task Management section of Employee, you'll be able to see the tasks that your employees created under different projects encoded with the task progress status. Select the project and member in the Assignee tab to see the individual tasks, time worked under each task, and the creation date of the task. You can create a task by clicking the Add Task button and assigning a team member. Employees can also create their own tasks from here or on the desktop app. Want to see or add your clients with the help of Employee? Click on Client in the left sidebar. You will be able to see all the existing clients. You can add new clients by clicking on the Add Client button. Now, give your client's name and email address. You can also add the client's mobile number and address, but this is optional. This information will be useful when you invoice the client from the Invoice section. In order to edit, archive, or delete clients, hover over any client and you'll see three options pop up that is Edit, Archive, and Delete. As the name suggests, these buttons allow you to edit, archive, and delete that client's info. If you have archived any clients, you can check them from the Archived section. You can choose to unarchive that client or delete the client. If you run an agency, Employee offers the feature to create invoices for your clients. To create an invoice, go to Invoice from the left sidebar and click on Create New Invoice. If you haven't created a client already, create one by clicking on the Add Client button. Give the name and email address and click on Save. Then, add the purchase order number and address. After the client is selected, a couple of actions can be taken. Change the issue date if necessary. You can change the invoice number too. You have the options to set the due date, currency, and purchase order number, but those are optional. Write the item name in the description. You may link your existing projects here. Select whether it's a product or service from the drop-down menu. Click on Add More Items to add multiple items to this invoice. 
you may add up to two taxes as a percentage or in the currency of your organization. Add discounts if necessary. Employee will automatically calculate all of these for you. If you want to edit it later, click on Save as Draft or directly send it to the client by clicking on Save and Send. You may also preview the invoice to see how it looks from the client's end. After you send the invoice, the status will be changed to Sent and you will be able to record the payment status for the particular invoice. After entering the full payment, the status will be changed to Paid. If the client hasn't paid the full amount, then put the exact amount paid and it'll be marked as Partially Paid and you can add more payments later. There it is, you are good to go. Enjoy tracking time with Employee. If you have any queries, feel free to browse our knowledge base from employee.com help or contact us at support at employee.com.